You guys. It's really, it's really important that we start seeing the tactics of how it's moved in silently, as Harim was explaining. You know, it's incremental approach. It's not, you know, all of a sudden right now, it's over time, and that's what we're seeing here. So you guys, in a second here, we're getting some uh, audio hooked up. We're going to hear from Annie, and then we're going to hear some good old boys music again. But you got to stay tuned, because we have Kyle Chapman up. We have Omar. Yeah, Omar. We have uh, Marco Gutierrez. Yeah, Marco. So we have some really, really good speakers you guys want to hear. I know it's hot out there right now, so remember, there's water over here. It's ice cold. Drink, we have plenty of, we have extra water. So you guys, everybody out in the trees, everybody pay attention. We have special guest, Annie Cyrus. Uh, welcome her, give it up. God bless you, Annie. Hi, everybody. Um, First of all, thank you for being here. I know it's extremely hot. So Here thanks for it. hanging on and uh, waiting for everybody to give their speeches. Um, I actually am very happy uh, Harry brought up everything that he did. I, um, I am actually a testimony to what he told you. I was born and raised in Islamic Republic of Iran under 100% Sharia within 100% Sharia family. My father was a sheikh, which is a step higher than the imam. I was called an adult woman at age nine in Iran, and my father sold me to marriage at age 14. So I am a child bride. Did I escape? Yes. However, I came here with a promise, and that was freedom. And I can tell you, we don't have freedom today. No. We have Islamization. That's what we got. There are Muslims in this country, and it goes beyond California. The problem is in California today. The problem is everywhere, because this is what it is. In Quran, Allah said, turn every single breathing human into a Muslim, and I will bring you your peace day. So they have no choice but to do it. I know we all gonna fight, but fighting isn't enough. We need to educate every single person out there. It is real. I am 33 years old today, but when I was 14, they handed me over to a man who was older than me, and he had no issue beating me for every single reason he could find. When I went to court with a dislocated shoulder and a bruised face and I asked for a divorce, the judge looked me in the eyes and said, well, young lady, you should obey your husband so he wouldn't have to beat you. And it's not that he was a bad man. No, in Quran, 4th Surah, Allah on 34th verse says, if you think your wife is going to disobey you, if you think you don't need a proof, Warn her, separate your bed, then beat her until she obeys you. That's the word of Allah. That's what they follow. And guess what? The brainwash is beyond what you can imagine. I had the Quran memorized at age five. That's when they start. I don't know how or why I was lucky enough to know the difference, but nine out of ten don't. You might look at someone here, American. Seriously, the guy's going to be American, have no accent, no problem with speaking complete English. They know the Constitution. They are all American. But guess what? They were born in an Islamic family. And they were taught to hate every single one of us. Not because we're Americanized. Not because we're Americans. No, because we don't believe in Allah and Muhammad. Because we don't. I'm sure none of you guys out there are willing to hand your nine-year-old daughter to a man. No. And I'm pretty sure none of you ladies are willing to hold your little daughter so they can mutilate her genital. That's why they hate you. Islam is submission. I ran from it. I came to this beautiful country and starting about seven years ago, I start seeing it happening right here. I recently moved away from LA. You know why? Because I had a fatwa on me from an Iranian Imam who said, kill her. They found me. And police told me, until they come to your door, there's nothing we can do for you. Oh my God. 
So I had to pack and I had to leave. Since the summer of 2015, I have moved nine times. They want to tell you it's the religion of peace? Then ask them why are there 182 verses in your holy book to order you to behead every single person who's not a Muslim. Words of Allah. I'm not going to even argue Sharia because the new method is I don't follow Sharia. I don't want to deal with Sharia, so bring Quran to their attention. 182 verses says you all should be beheaded. There are over 176 verses in Quran where it says a woman is half of a man. It tells you to sell your daughter, it tells you to kill your daughter, it tells you to beat your wife. That is not a culture I was introduced to when I came here 14 years, 11 months ago. When I came here, they told me, you can be anyone you like to be. God bless America. God bless America, yes. Yeah, yeah. I have my life because of America. However, however, thanks to eight years of infiltration in our White House, referring to Hussein Obama, we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of fight to do. And the best way to do it is stand up, learn about it, and don't hide from them. Don't be afraid to be called racist. Islam isn't a race. It's an ideology. And if they're going to call you a bigot, well, I'd rather be a bigot and Islamophobe than a pedophile praiser. Yeah! Woo! Amen! So, I was asked what we can do. As I said, we can educate and most importantly, we need to unite. If you see, I really mean it, if you see a little girl bruised on the street with a Muslim father or mother, say something. Don't be afraid. This is a free country. We protect yeah. our children in this country. Yeah. Behind closed doors, they are abusing their children. Yes. And when you learn something new, make sure to talk about it to those who don't know about it. Yeah. Because here's what they're doing. We have 1,250 mosques around America. Burn them! Burn them! You don't need to burn them. I would say walk in there and ask questions. If they don't let you in, here's your answer. If they let you in and ask you to wear the hijab ladies, then you stand there and say, I'm a free woman under this flag. Yeah. Don't let them lie. Yes, Harim is right. Under Islam, a Muslim can lie about Islam and about everything within Sharia. Don't let them lie. Every time you see a reformer or a moderate Muslim on TV, reach out to them and say, I have a question. What are you trying to reform? The fact that your prophet had a wife that was six years old? How do you reform that? I guess you just get rid of that prophet. So in other meaning, you're not reforming. You're just making a brand new cult out there. And for those moderates, the same thing applies. Are you going to just cherry pick your verses from Quran? Where there's a verse in Quran that says, those of you Muslims who stay home are not the same to Allah than those who leave and commit jihad. So even as a moderate Muslim, Allah already told you you're not his favorite. I'm sure I'm almost out of time, but what I want to tell you is, there is no radical Islam, there is no moderate Islam, there is no reforming Islam, there is one type of Islam and that is all about lies, yep. pedophilia, yep. and murder. So please stand up. As long as we have our freedom, we have the right to ask questions and demand answers. I'm always here to answer questions. However, try to get that question out of those Imams and out of those moderate Muslims because those are the ones who are hurting our cause by telling us there is a way to be peaceful under this ideology. And please, if you like me, if you love me, if you support me, stop calling it a religion. Islam is not a religion. It's an ideology. It's, an ideology. it's a control freak. Literally, it tells you how to live your life and if you don't do it, well, rest in peace. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being Amazing! One last thing. I know this is all a 
about peace. But sometimes we can be peaceful, but we can be angry. Yep. Please stay angry. Remember, eight years gone, we have to fix it. God bless America. Thank you.